Good afternoon, everybody. This is Karen Hartz from Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. Okay, I'm on E10 Nest Box, and we have a giant problem today. I've never seen this happen. This is my ninth year. I opened up the box. I'm going to show you the box. Here's E10. Now, just keep in mind, just a week ago, we had a perfect bluebird nest. Went 30 days. The birds fledged. Five baby birds. Everything's terrific. And, and the box... Uh, was not even that dirty or anything. You know, with droppings. I opened this up today. Had a bluebird egg here, one here. I was like, oh my god. And then I, I got a mirror, which, you know, we can see now with the camera. Uh, but I had a hand mirror, and there was two more eggs in there. And you can see there's only a few pieces of, um, they usually use uh, pine needles, okay? And, you know, you look around, you don't even see a pine tree right now. Here's my car trunk open um anyway listen i've been carrying this little box look at this little green box i guess it used to hold soap so i i thought oh my god i what am i going to use to build a nest so i'm using um spanish moss and i hope this is going to be okay all i can do is try it um obviously it's longer that they usually have a round nest it's a little bit longer than they would use, you know, lengthwise. But let's see if it'll fit. Oh, God. I hope it... If it doesn't fit, then I'm in trouble. Oh, my God. Cross your fingers. Yes, folks. We're in business. I love it. So, it's going to be a little bit high. The parent will have to get in there, you know. But it's all I can do. Um, So, let me think. Yeah, because the, the parent would come in here. So, see right here? And jump down. And... They'll just be, wow, it's a really high nest. Kind of like having a high bed. So, thank God. I've, I've been carrying this box for years. I, I can't even believe I, I had to use it, but that's okay. And then, you know, hopefully the birds will come back, sit on the eggs. And maybe we'll have chicks next week. All right, stay stay tuned, folks. It's Karen Martz with the Sea Pines Bluebird Project. Have a great day.